Things have gotten a little easier or maybe actually a little tougher depending on whichever way you look at it uh, for Sunday's upcoming game against the Indianapolis Colts. Um, it was reported just the other day that the Colts have benched quarterback Matt Ryan and will be starting Sam Ellinger the rest of the way. Now, Matt Ryan has an injury from what I understand right now, um, but... Uh, the Colts have had offensive woes uh, that have reached worrisome proportions, according to the ESPN article, and the team decided on a dramatic shift on its most important position. Uh, Indianapolis is promoting Sam Ellinger to start quarterback for Sunday against the Washington Commanders, with veteran Matt Ryan sustaining a grade two shoulder separation against Tennessee Titans on Sunday, uh, said Coach Reich. Uh, Ryan won't play or practice this week because of the injury, um, but he emph emphatically stated that the move is intended to be for the remainder of the season. And so this is uh, this is really some big news for both Colts fans and Commanders fans because certainly if you're a Commander fan, you're looking at this as oh you know now our defense gets to tee off against a very inexperienced quarterback who we know is probably going to wind up struggling because it's going to be his first start. He hasn't had much playing time in the NFL. And while it may have some sort of spark for the Colts, it probably, you know, the Colts will probably struggle. Uh, this is, again, this is definitely a very winnable game for the Washington Commanders. Uh, I expect this game to be a, a winning game for the Washington Commanders. Um, <clears throat> so, ha you know, Having said all that, um, you never know because then again, we go back to 2020 when Washington somehow won the NFC East division at seven and nine and got into the playoffs and went against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they were probably thinking the same thing with Taylor Heineke, thinking, okay, this guy has not had much uh, experience. Um, you know, he's probably not going to fare too well in the playoffs. He's never had a playoff game before. And then, you know, Washington almost beat the Bucks in the playoffs. So anything can happen, right? Any given Sunday. Uh, but if you're the Washington Commanders fan right now, you're looking at this and you're looking at your chops because obviously this is a golden opportunity for Washington to even up their division, or not their, just their division, but their overall record, at four and four and if you're back up to 500 because you're looking around the other teams in the league good teams that are three and four you know you just beat a good team in, in green bay now they are not the team that they was before giving you you definitely can say that but you know besides that the fact is you got tom brady's buccaneers who are three and four you got a lot of good teams out there right now who are struggling and for the commanders to be at three and four as well in the mix of things uh, they beat the Colts this Sunday they're four and four and I'll be honest with you even if Matt Ryan was playing I think this would still be a very winnable game for the Washington commanders and now suddenly the commanders have a path to possibly winning several games uh, put together now again <laughs> they still got to go back and face more of their division foes and they have not fared too well against the division so far right <clears throat> so that remains to be seen how they're going to do against their own nfc east they have got to win those games because right now the giants the eagles the cowboys are just running away from the commanders in the division and <clears throat> it would be nice it would be really nice to see the commanders everybody in the nfc east to make the playoffs i don't think that's going to happen but you never know um but definitely the nfc east is back as the nfc beast um and it's it i have to say mentally i think all of us washington commanders fans are in a better spot right now it it feels better being at three and four definitely than it was at one and four um and a possible chance of you know, tying things up at four and four, it's it's like a rebirth in the season, and basically you're in the middle of the season at this point. So you're starting all over, 
you know, at 500, you got a whole half of the season to go, and you're getting Chase Young back possibly within another couple of weeks. Things might be looking up for the Washington Commanders. You know, Taylor Heineke certainly came out. He he stunk it up in the in the first quarter and a half or so, but came out and played like Taylor Heineke normally plays. And so you could take that for what it's worth, but I I really feel like the Commanders are a better team with Taylor Heineke under center than they are with Carson Wentz. I just feel like they are. I think Taylor Heineke gives them an added dimension that right now Carson Wentz just does not give them. And so right now I think I think the Commanders have their best chance of making a run under Taylor Heineke than they do with Carson Wentz. Now maybe you go back to Carson Wentz if – if Washington has a good winning record and they have some winnable games and the offensive line has, you know, gelled and, you know, the stars align and, and, you know, lions are laying down with lambs and dogs and cats are laying down together and all this stuff. But honestly, uh, for the most part, I really feel like you're going to have, um, <clears throat> you're going to have Taylor Heineke probably helping this team to, uh, get together, you know, a good win streak, and then Ron Rivera's going to have a tough decision after that. But I'll be honest with you, I really see some good things coming ahead for Washington, especially the Sunday, you know, facing a an inexperienced quarterback and a team who has downright struggled. And it looks like there's two teams right now that's heading in two different directions. I think the Colts are, are heading down. I think the commanders are heading up. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.